Amen. Salamat sa Panginoon. Amen. At uh, bagamat kanina ay uh, merong uh, counting uh, aberya, akala ko hindi kami aabot sa takdang panahon doon. Dahil uh, pagdating namin doon sa uh, malapit na sa checkpoint, Actually, nilalabas ko na yung mga dokumento ko. Eh, ang daming truck kabilaan at saka meron pa sa gitna naka-station. Yung pala, merong na tumaob na truck. Yung uh, ang karga ay yung graba. Yung graba, tinabunan yung uh, mismong outpost ng mga <laughs> nag-checkpoint. Uh, oh. At uh, pinuntahan ko ngayon at uh, alayo, alayo din yung ang haba na ng ano at nakita ko nga noon walang makadaan. Eh may nakita kong espasyo na ganun, sabi ko Brother Noli, puntahan na natin doon. Oh, pumesto tayo doon sa maikling espasyo sa unahan. Oh, pag igogo na yan, mauna tayo. Eh ganun pa man, ang inuna ay yung paluwas dito. <laughs> Yan, tagal. So, ganun pa man, nakarating pa rin kami doon kahit na 9.30 na. Nandun na rin halos yung mga kapatiran at naghihintay sila. At, uh, salamat sa Panginoon sa kanyang uh, uh, napagaganda rin na uh, binigay na fellowship doon. At uh, I believe na meron talagang tunay na uh, kagutuman, merong tunay na kauhawan sa pagkikinig at hindi lang basta pagkikinig kundi yung uh, uh, pagkaalam ng uh, kung ano talaga ang substansya ng uh, mensahe sa kapanahonan na ito. At salamat din sa Panginoon. Hindi ko ano eh, hindi ko na contact si Brother Eric Capon eh. Meron kaming uh, ano dito, fellowship aralan. At napakaganda rin yung Uh, naging ano naging outcome marami kaming nalakbay o oh, pati mga dreams but i know uh, si brother Fred ay manonood ngayon kasi ang topic ay merong kaugnayan doon sa kanyang panaginip o oh, merong panaginip siya na may nagsalita sa kanya na arise arise and then uh, Nakita niya ang uh, prophet sa kanyang panaginip, mayroong lumalabas na uh, ilaw sa kanyang bibig. So napagandang panaginip, sabi ko nga ay uh, may kaugnayan yan sa kung ano yung topic. At yung uh, unang uh, sub-constellation sa House of Taurus. So yan ang ating <coughs> sisipatin ngayong hapon. Yun ay yung uh, first sub-constellation sa House of uh, Taurus at yun ay walang iba kundi si Orion. Hindi po Orion. Pag Orion, bataan po yun. No? Orion. So, makikita natin itong uh, si Orion at kung ano ang uh, message niya na gustong uh, ipahayag sa atin sabagat uh, ako'y naniniwala na merong purpose why he was placed in that sky. So, makita natin si Orion, no, isang uh, triumphal uh, creature. It's a man no, sa langit. At isa siya sa pinakamaliwanag sa kalangitan. At uh, dyan nila nakikita yung uh, kung tawagin nila ay nebula. Uh, yung uh, maliwanag na maliwanag na parang uh, ano, uh, parang uh, uh, ang tawag nila doon ay parang uh, parang cloth na sobra yung liwanag niya. No? So yan si Uh, Orion o si 
tawag niyan sa Hebrew ay Uwaryon. Oh. So Uwaryon sa Hebrew. May A. Yan. Uwaryon sa Hebrew word. Na dito, in-identify niya kung ano siya. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng uwaryon ay light. Liwanag. No? Kasi, literally, yan ay napakaliwanag sa kalangitan. So, siya ay uh, nagtagumpay o oh, na-defeat na niya, uh, na-depose na niya yung head of the enemy. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid, kung titignan ninyo sa ka, uh, right hand niya, yan yung head of the enemy na pagtagumpayan na niya, ibig sabihin mga kapatid, wala nang kapangyarihan. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid, at uh, isa lang ang pwedeng makapagtagumpay at hindi lang basta makapagtagumpay, na pagtagumpayan na at yun ay walang iba kundi yung word made flesh. Amen. So ating alamin sa hapon na ito, ano ang connection nito sa atin? Kasi tulad ng madalas kong sinasabi last time, uh, doon lang ang focus natin sa first coming of that word. Yung uh, tinatawag na bridegroom. Pero kulang pala yan kung hindi natin makita kung ano yung connection ng uh, bride. So makita ninyo siya ay uh, triumphal. Actually, Inapakan na rin niya si hair, the enemy. May hawak, hawak na rin niya yung uh, head. Amen. Ibig sabihin, uh, wala na tayong ibang head. Kasi yung dati nating head ay wala na. Meron na tayong bagong head. At yun ay walang iba kundi si Orion. So ating alamin, sino ito mga kabatid? So, tinawag din yan ng uh, Alcadians na Urana. Okay? Urana. Papangit na mga pangalan. O. Oh. Naibig sabihin ay the light of heaven. The light of heaven ang uh, liwanag ng kalangitan. Tinawag din yan ng mga early astrologers na hagat. Hagat. Okay? Ibig sabihin ng hagat ay he who triumphs. He who triumphs. Ibig sabihin, nagtagumpay na siya because it's already been declared. Amen? So, ating makita, ating silipin anong connection nito sa bride. No? So, mayroon siyang mga stars din no? na pinangalan na nila dahil uh, yun ay uh, notable stars. Okay? Pinakamaliwanag ay yung si Betelgeus. Oh, nandito. Ito. Yan yung pinaka maliwanag na star. Ang uh, pinangalan doon ay Betelgeuse. Okay? Nang ibig sabihin naman noon ay the coming brands. So, aware na tayo kung uh, sino itong branch na ito. Amen? At uh, doon sa book of Jeremiah, dalawa ang tinutukoy niyang uh, branch ng pangalan ay uh, the Lord of Righteousness. Una ay yung uh, the branch na He is the Lord of Righteousness. And then yung pangalawa sa 33, na she is the Lord of Righteousness. Righteousness. So male and female. Okay? 
yung uh, nandito sa kanyang paa, yan yung sumunod na maliwanag, yun, B. Pag merong sign na bing ganon, ibig sabihin, yan yung pinaka, pinaka maliwanag. Rigel. Okay? Rigel. Yan ang pinangalan, ipinangalan sa kanila ng uh, mga early uh, astrologers. Nang ibig sabihin naman nun ay the foot that cross it. The foot that cross it. Amen. Scripturally, amen, walang ibang uh, pinakamagandang foot sabi ng uh, scripture sa Romans 10 kundi sila na nagdadala ng uh, balita. Di ba? Nagdadala ng mabubuting uh, balita. Okay? And then another uh, andun sa gitna Okay, ito. Yung sa kabilang part. Ito, yun, yan. Belliatrix naman. Pinangalanan yung notable star na yon na Belliatrix. Okay? Nang ibig sabihin ay swiftly coming. Okay? Swiftly coming. Diba? Sabi ni Lord, alam na natin yon. Behold, I come quickly. So it's not the first coming, but it's the second coming of the Lord. And then another one, yung uh, ito, sa belt niya, Alnitak. Si almost na sila pare-pareho, Alnitam. Pare-pareho na, na names, but uh, pointing to one thing, the wounded one. The wounded one. So dito pa lang makikita na natin ano yung kung sino siya, no? And then dun sa baba, sa ito, sa hita niya, yan o, tinawag na sa ip. Which means, mga kapatid, the bruised. Okay, alam na natin kung sino yung bruised. Amen. And then, uh, uh, sabi ng prophet sa uh, uh, the masterpiece, amen siya uli ay na bruised in this day sa pamamagitan ng uh, pag-reject sa kanya ng uh, churches. Amen? Now, sa book, uh, sa scripture mga kabadid, amen, ipinahayag ng Panginoon actually, Itong si Orion. So hindi yan imbento lang, kundi yan ay uh, scripture. And of course, we know, ang uh, Bible mismo nagsasabi, ang uh, heavens ay nag-declare ng glory ng ating Panginoon. No? Doon sa Hebrews, uh, Job chapter 9, verse 1 and 4, and then talon sa 9, Kausap ni Job ang Panginoon. Then Job answered and said, I know it is so of truth, of a truth, but how should man be just with God? If he will contend with him, he cannot answer him one of a thousand. In other words, Hindi ka talaga pwedeng ano sumalag sa Panginoon by your own uh, way. Kasi ang pwedeng magbigay ng lahat ng kasagutan ay Panginoon. Di ba mga batid? So kung tayo ay merong sariling ideas, sariling kaisipan, hindi talaga yan uubra. Hindi natin makita yung bukal ng kapahayagan. Amen? Sabagat, in the beginning, sabi nga ng ating Panginoon, my thoughts are not your thoughts, 
and my ways are not your ways. Sa uh, for he is wise in heart and mighty in strength who had hardened himself against him and had prospered sa nine which make it Arcturus, Orion, and Pleiades and the chambers of the south. Let's do it great things past finding out ye and the wonders without number. So, ang susi lahat nito ay makita natin yung kapahayagan ng Panginoon and then everything will follow. Sabi ng prophet, Amen. Nung mabuksan yung seal, ang sabi niya, if you have now a biblical question, it has now a biblical answer. Amen. Because God is obligated to give answer to every question. Amen. Hindi na ito yung time na para bang uh, pag merong katanungan, eh, kakamot tayo sa ating ulo kasi inequip ng Panginoon ang kanyang bride. To begin with, sabi ng prophet, si Lord ay hindi niya kailangan ma yung uh, maghula nung kanyang isasagot because why? Alam niya yung word. Because why? He is the word to begin with. Amen. So, which make it Arturus, Orion, and Pleiades in the chambers of the south, which do it great things past finding out, yea, and wonders without number. Talaga mamamangha ka rito pag nabuksan sa'yo ang kapahayagan na ito. Sa book of Job 38, 31, and then 32, yan ay mga scriptures. Nabasa na natin last time, but we have to read it again. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades? Kaya nyo bang talian ang influensya ng pitong between? Hindi. Sabagat ito ay magmamanifest at iserserve niya ang kanyang purpose. Amen. Or lose the bands of Orion? Para matakpan yung liwanag na yan? Amen. Hindi. Canst thou bring forth Masaroth in his season? Sa Tagalog, ay, ano yung Masaroth? Soja ko. Kahit basahin nyo sa Tagalog. Amen. Canst thou bring forth Masaroth in his season? Oh, hindi na natin kailangan i-produce. Bakit? It's ordained to be manifested in the creed season. Amen. Or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Amen. Sabi ko nung nakaraan, uh, that Orion and Arcturus is the same. It's Christ. And then his sons is the ministry in this last day. Amen. Now, Amos. Marami tayong scripture. Amos 5.8 Seek him that make it the seven stars and Orion. Kailangan masumpungan mo yan. And turn it the shadow of death into the morning. And make it the day dark with night that call it for the waters of the sea and pour them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is His name. Sa Tagalog, babasahin ko. Iyong hanapin ang lumikha ng mga pliades. Because the seven stars ay walang iba kundi ang pliades. Iyong hanapin ang lumikha ng mga pliades. Yan. So, ang seven stars doon ay yung Pleiades. And Orion. At ang lilim ng kamatayan ay pinapaging umaga. 
Ibig sabihin, yung kadiliman ay magiging araw, magiging umaga. So, this is really the rising of the sun. Amen. Pinapagdilim ang araw sa pamamagitan ng gabi. Amen. Ito naman ay yung mga hindi nakatalagang makakita. Because this message will do two things. One, to open the eyes of the predestinated and to blind the people that's, that are ordained, amen, for condemnation. Hindi naman nila papahalagaan to eh. So spiritually speaking, they are blind. Kahit na anong liwanag yung ipapahayag mo sa kanila, ang nakikita pa rin nila ay dilim. Di ba? Hindi nila ma-appreciate. Like for instance, pag sabihin mo sa bulag, si Brother Joet, ang cute oh. Ano sa sabihin ng bulag? Oh? We. Bakit? Hindi niya makita. Kaya kahit na anong liwanag yung isheshare mo sa kanya na message in this day, hindi niya ma-appreciate. Closed. Amen. Why? Because why? It is because they are spiritually blinded. Yaong tumatawag sa tubig sa dagat at nagbubugso ng mga yaon sa ibabaw ng lupa. Panginoon ang siya niyang pangalan. So, very uh, direct, I will say, ang scripture. Hanapin mo, amen, ang lumikha sa pitong between at ang urayon. Amen. In other words, yun ay, uh, cre of course, it's the creator himself created himself. Amen. Yun yun yung topic natin last Wednesday. So saan ito natin i-apply? Ito. Amen. So ang kanyang identification, siya, la, siya yung light, liwanag. Siya yung uh, light of heavens. Siya yung uh, nagtagumpay. Siya yung uh, darating. Siya ay mabilis na darating. Amen? Siya ay nasugatan. Amen? Ang dami mga kapatid, siya ay mananagumpay, etc. Now, tingnan natin sa John chapter 1, verse 1 and 3. Sabi ko noon, yes, it was the Lord Himself. But what about this day? John 1 to 3 or hanggang 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Amen. Hindi yan pwede, mga kapatid. Amen. Na ito ay i-overcome ng darkness. Amen. Siya nga rin naman, mga kapatid. Meron na ba kayong nakita na yung uh, uh, liwanag at dilim ay magsama? Hindi. Tuwing uh, merong liwanag, ang dilim ay tatakas. Ganun lagi mga kapatid, just to show, amen, ano yung importance, ano yung kahalagahan ng liwanag na ito. John chapter 8, baybayin natin yung mga scriptures. Para sa ganun, sabihin naman nila na wala tayong binabasang scriptures. John chapter 8 verse 12 and 14. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have 
the light of light. Anong ibig sabihin? I am Orion <laughs> coming to the earth. Amen. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Mukhang uh, inaangat mo yung bangko mo. <laughs> Jesus answered and said unto them, Do I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came. Sabagat nalalaman, ako, nalalaman ko kung saan ako galing and whither I go, but you cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Hindi nyo alam, amen, kung saan ako galing at saan ako babalik. But now we know. Amen. So, maliwanag. Amen. Siya yung liwanag. Amen. Now, let us go to the prophet himself. Now, it proved to be that he was the true light. Siya yung tunay na liwanag. Now, hindi po yung liwanag na literally na nagliliwanag, no? When we say light, mga kapatid, doon natin makikita yung truth. Pag sinabi natin liwanag, nandun yung kaliwanagan o kaunawaan ng lahat ng mga bagay. Di ba mga kapatid? Pag sinabi ng mga ngaral, maliwanag ba? Di ba? Sabi na nakikinig, Amen! Pero hindi ibig sabihin na maliwanag na ganon. Ibig sabihin, nauunawaan niya naiintindihan niya yung mensahe. Di ba mga kapatid? So sa pamamagitan niya, mga kapatid, mauunawaan natin ang buhay. Mauunawaan natin ang eternal purpose of God. Mauunawaan natin ang eternal plan of God. Amen. Now, it proved to be that He was the true light. He was the light. Why did they know that He was the light? How could you know He was the light? Paano nyo nalaman na Siya ang liwanag? Because the word that was promised what was made manifest through Him. So ang kaliwanagan ng salita, Amen, ay nung ito ay magkaroon ng kaganapan. So nakita nyo na, naintindihan ngayon, Amen, kung sino yung sinasabi ng mga propeta. Amen. Yung kaliwanagan ng salita, Amen, ay naroon nung ito ay magkaroon ng kaganapan. So clear. Amen. How could you know He was the light? Because the word that was promised was made manifest through Him So He was the light of the spoken word. Amen. Siya yung liwanag ng binigkas na salita. Amen. Kasi hindi klaro habang ito ay binibigkas. Pero pag ito ay nagkaroon na ng kaganapan, ito ay klarong klaro, ito ay maliwanag na maliwanag. Amen. Bakit? Wala naman kasing ibang interpreter ng word maliban sa Diyos. Kaya wa, wa, walang pwedeng mag-angkin na siya ay nag-interpret ng word because God is the only authorized interpreter of the word. How God interpret His words by making it to come to pass. Or that word made manifest. So yung word na yon sa uh, Old Testament, maliwanag na maliwanag from birth to death, Amen. Lahat yan ay nakapropesiya. Di ba? So sabi ni Lord, search the scripture if you think you have eternal life. They are they that testify of me. So yung mga salita na yan, malabo, malabo kulang pa kung wala yung kanyang manifestation. So the light of that prophecy, the light of that word, ay yung eksaktong manifestation. So he was the light of that age. 
Amen. How about us? How about the bride? Meron bang scripture na na-fulfill in this day? Wherein makita natin uli si Orion swiftly coming back. Amen. Now, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14, 16. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? Ye are the light of the world. Kayo ang liwanag ng sanlibutan. Paano? Di ba mga kapatid? O? Oh? Kayo ang liwanag ng sanlibutan. Paano yun? Di ba? E eh, pareho lang naman tayo ng mundo noon. Yung lakad ng mundo, yun pa rin naman ang lakad natin noon. Hanggang ngayon, hindi natin namamalayan, yun pa rin ang lakad natin. Pero there, there was something supernatural, amen, na nangyari sa atin. Ye are the line of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Hindi pwedeng itago kung nandun na sa capstone. Amen. Hindi yan maitago. Ang makakakita lang noon ay yung mga predestinado. Amen? Doon sa Amos. Pero ang hindi predestinado, ang makikita lang nila ay yung ordinaryong kayo. <laughs> ah, si Brother Joe, eh, taga Amerika yan. Oh, di ba? Pinaka-cute sa Amerika. America Hotel. Amen. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but uh, on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Kaya mahalaga yung liwanag sa house. Amen. At umabot kami sa sharing, sa claiming. Amen. And uh, claiming, mga kapatid, ay thunders. Part ng thunders. Because the thunders, mga kapatid, ay magbibigay sa atin ng relaxing. Marirelax ka talaga. Bakit? Walang worry. Settled ka. Di ba mga, mga kapatid? So mahalaga yung uh, light, mahalaga yung token sa family. Let your light so shine, so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Paano tayo naging liwanag? Di ba? Madaling ipangaral. Kasi nababasa. Pero kung ito ay nabasa lang at ipinangaral, walang saysay yan kung hindi yan magkaroon ng kaganapan. Amen. 2 Peter 1.19 We have also a sure, a more sure word of prophecy. More sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Isang uh, liwanag na nagliwanag sa madilim na dako. Until the day down. Amen. Evening time. Amen. And the day star arise in your heart. Amen. Yung day star nag-arise sa ating heart. Ngayon, ang tanong, ano ba yung day star? Di ba sun? In other words, the sun arise in your heart. Kaya ang message ng prophet, it is the rising of the sun. Di ba mga patid? At yan ang uh, symbol ng major light which is the sun. Sabi ng prophet, 
there is now a dual sun rising. Isang S-U-N at saka S-O-N. Now, Isaiah 60, 1 and 3. Yun yung prophecy pertaining this day that we are living. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Coming. Coming. Amen. Yung light ay darating. Si Orion ay darating. Arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Total darkness. Loud is here. And gross darkness, the people. Amen. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Sa kabila ng kadiliman. Amen. Sabi ng prophet, this is the most deceiving age. Amen. Hindi mo na nga alam kung sino ang tama sa dami ng nangangaral, sa dami ng mga version ng uh, message nito. If you ask me now, ilan na ba ang version ng uh, message nito? Hindi lang isa, hindi lang dalawa, hindi lang tatlo, hindi lang apat, hindi lang lima. Marami na pong version ang message nito. Same message nag-produce ng iba't ibang unawa. Isang Bible nag-produce ng iba't ibang denomination. Isang message nag-produce, mga kabatid, ng mga denomination within this message. And that is the truth. Amen. So darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. San makikita yung kanyang kalwalhatian sa atin. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Darating yung total manifestation ng glory ng Panginoon. Yung mga hari, amen, yung mga other covenants, amen, makikita nila yung glory of that Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, sabi ng uh, prophet how he placed this scripture. Isaiah 6.1 says, Arise and shine, for the light is come to you. Rise and shine, the light has come. Sanya Plinais. The word, light, is vindicated again. Amen. Bumalik ba siya? Yes, swiftly coming back. Amen. So yung light na yon, yung word na yon, is vindicated again. I want to repeat that. Vindicated again. Pag sinabing again, alam na natin yun. Naulit uli. Amen. The light vindicated again. God's word so that you can see God manifested in His promise of the light of the day. Or the word given to this age. See? These promises that's made for this day, these promises that was said by the prophets and by Jesus himself in this day, God in sundry times, Hebrews 1, God in sundry times in diverse manners spake to their fathers through the prophets, but now in this last day, through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Eh, wala na si Jesus Christ in this last day. In uh, masculine form. Pero merong bride in this day, which is the final voice to the final age. Amen. Fulfilling Rebel Revelation chapter 10, 8 to 11. Di ba mga badid? 
si John at that time, typing the bride, kinain niya yung aklat. Kinain niya yung open book. Amen. At alam natin kung ano ang nilalaman ng open book. Amen. It's not your literal name that was written in that book. It's the mystery being unfolded. Amen. Ang nakalagay doon sa aklat ay hiwaga. Pag sinabi nating hiwaga, it consists of different mysteries. Inaisa-isa yan ng prophet. Pero yan ay kabuuan mismo ng Diyos. And then, nakita natin yung aklat, hindi po sarado kundi bukas na bukas. At lalo nating naunawaan, mga kapatid, sa fulfillment ng uh, Revelation 10.8 to 11, or uh, 10.7 rather, because uh, according to that book or that uh, scripture, Amen, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. Saan niya plinays yung uh, begin to sound? Hindi po before, amen, the seals were open. Not when he started the message, not when he started the ministry, but when he started to reveal what is contained in those seven seals. Amen? Quote? Yes. Dami natin quote po ron. Amen. So ngayon, in this day, Amen, it's Jesus Christ speaking, pero through the lips of the ministers and then through the lips of the bride. Because the bride, Amen, is the final voice to the final age. Amen. So, San Plinace ni Isaiah yung scripture? Hindi sa first coming, kundi sa second coming. Amen. <coughs> Now, glory to God. Sabi ng prophet, the hour is here. Another quote. The hour is here. If I have been... Uh, Back there before the days that the world was created and looked down and seen the whole thing and the father had said to me what day would you want to live? Anong panahon gusto mong mabuhay? I would say now Right now. Tignan nyo ang prophet, mga kapatid. Ano yung nakita niya in this day? Actually, tinawag niya itong most glorious age. Bagamat ito yung most deceiving age, but for us, the elected lady, ito yung most glorious age. Amen. Ano ba meron dito sa time na ito? Sabi ng prophet, this is the grand, grandest age of all ages. Bakit daw? This is the blending of time and eternity. Nasa quote yan. Di ba mga abadid? Ito yung time na merong mga tao. Amen. Na nandito sa ibabaw ng lupa na ito, hindi makakaranas ilagay sa kahon at iburol at ilibing. Dito lang sa panahon na ito. Because why? Nandito na tayo, tayo sa dulo ng panahon at dito na binuhos ng Panginoon ang uh, kapunuan ng kanyang kapahayagan. Amen. Bakit mangyayari na dito sa panahon na ito, amen, sabi ng ating Panginoon, may ilan dyan na nakatayo na hindi makakaranas ng uh, kamatayan hanggang makita nila ang pagdating ng anak ng tao. Dumating na ba yung anak ng tao? Nakita ba natin by our spiritual eyes yung pagdating ng anak ng tao? The ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ in the bride form. Hallelujah. So sabi ng prophet, diretsahan, Amen. I would say now, right now, this is the hour. 
This is the greatest hour that the church has ever moved into. Just before the coming of the bridegroom. Ibig sabihin may coming pa? Yes. Pero not in this earth. Amen. Na maliwanag na sa atin, the prophet said, Amen, yung coming of the Lord, Amen, sa second coming ay may twofold. First, yung kanyang uh, 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 corporal body ay nasa throne, pero yung Holy Spirit, which is Christ in spirit form, ay nandito ngayon at nag-unite sa bride. Di ba mga batid? To vindicate, mga kapatid, to manifest yung part ng logos, which is yung bride. Amen. Glory to God. But, amen, He will not come to the earth. Sabi ng prophet. Amen. So, nandito na ngayon yung body of the Lord. Amen. And that is the bride body, not one member, but many membered body of the Lord. And that's the bride. At pag nakumpleto na rin, naabot na rin ng bride ang kanyang perfection, ma-receive na rin niya ang kanyang glorification, ma-receive na niya yung glorified body, we will leave this earth like Him. Iiwanan na natin ang mundo, itong magulo na mundo na ito. At sasalubungin natin ang ating Panginoon sa alapap. Tama ba mga batid? In other words, hindi siya bababarito tulad ng turo ng marami, kundi sa salubungin natin siya sa alapap. Just like Rebecca meeting Isaac in the cool of that day. Amen. Lord to God. Whew. I love this. This is the greatest hour that the church has ever moved into. Just before the coming of the bridegroom. So maliwanag mga kabadid. Oh, the real church of the living God ought to be on fire burning. Wala nang makapigil sa bride. Amen. Kahit na anong kritisismo, mga kabadid, hindi na tayo mauuga. Amen. Kahit na anong pagsubok sa mundo na to, hindi na tayo mauuga. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, the real church of the living God ought to be on fire burning with the light of the gospel being vindicated among them. Rise and shine for the light has come to you. Orion, amen, has come to you. And that Orion, by the way, is coming forth as light. Coming forth as light. Darating, amen, bilang siyang liwanag. Okay? So, glory to God. Are you glad, Sage? Amen. Even the prophet himself, sabi niya, mas pipiliin ko itong panahon na ito. Amen. The light of this day, Isaiah was the light of his day. Noah was the light of his day. Why? He had the word manifested. So ang light ay word manifested. So alam na natin, mga kapatid. And the gospel, the Bible words for this day is the light of the day. What a glor glorious time that we are living. Now, good morning means peace. Darkness is gathering. Wala tayong magagawa. Darkness is gathering. Total darkness. But in the evening time, it shall be light. Amen. Darkness is gathering. What it's gathering for? So may purpose pa rin why merong gathering ng darkness. My purpose. Amen. What's it gathering for? To show the light. Kasi lalo mong ma-appreciate yung light sa gitna 
ng kadiliman. Kaya sa time ng prophet, habang uh, drinodrawing niya yung mga uh, bilog-bilog na church ages, mga kapatid, sa original niyang uh, last day, meron pang kaunting puti. Pero sabi niya, I have to change it. Amen. Bakit? Mga kapatid, sabi ng prophet, binindicate ng langit sa pamamagitan ng total eclipse. Amen. Total eclipse, talagang total darkness. Itong Laodicea, kaya yung bago ngayon, na seven church ages, yung Laodicea ay wala ng puti. Total darkness. Amen. But, with that, amen, to show the light. Isaiah 6.1, Arise and shine. For the light is come to you. That's the reason I can say, Shalom. The light has come to you. God's peace to the elected woman, to the elected lady, those who got before the foundation of the world, called out and ordained to that. Why? We are part of that light coming forth, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 3 has been fulfilled in our very eyes. Amen. Another scripture. Zechariah 14:7. But it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord. Not day nor night, but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light. And that evening time is our age. Sabi ng prophet, total darkness. Darkness are gathering. And the purpose of that gathering of darkness is to show the light. So dito naman, at that, that at evening time, it shall be light. Now, let us see where the prophet plays this scripture. Amen. Kaya mahalaga, amen, makita natin saan at paano plini place ng prophet ang scriptures. Now, after 1900 years, after, with the church ages past, and all things that he prophesied of Luther, Wesley, we just went through and seen it drawed out. And the moon come down and drawed it out. And the Lord wrote it on the board here for us and showed it and come down himself and confirm it to be right. Ang Panginoon ang nag-confirm sa kanyang salita. Amen. After 1900 years and we are at the end of the Laodicean Church Age. Not in the beginning, not in the middle of the Laodicea Church Age, we are at the end of Laodicea Church Age. Amen. So ang mundo ay literally, amen, nasa Laodicea hanggang sa pumasok ang Great Tribulation. Pero spiritually speaking, ang bride ay lumabas na. Kaya sabi ng prophet, you are now entering into another age. At anong age ito? Bride age. 
Mga kapatid ko, hindi na nakasabay ang marami dito. Amen. Bakit? Nakot up tayo ng revelation ng seven thunders. Kailangan tayong alisin sa condition na yan because Laodicea is total darkness. But in the evening time, it shall be light. Kailangan alisin tayo ron sa condition na yon. Otherwise, hanggang ngayon, nanguhula pa rin tayo. Ano ba yung substansya ng message nito? Bakit sinabi ng prophet ganito? Bakit sinabi ng prophet ganyan? Amen? Di ba? Hanggang ngayon, ang pangangaral, maging mabait kayo, mga kapatid. Maghanda kayo, mga kapatid, malapit na ang rapture. Alam nyo, mga kapatid, ang rapture ay narito na. And Brother Banam said, Luther was a part, all of them was a part, Wesley was a part. And when the church know her position, then one day, this rapture will go. Para makwalify kayo sa rapture, maghanda na kayo mga kapatid. Maging mabait na kayo. ba? Diba? Kailangan lagi kayong nasa church. Oh. Para masama niya yung pamilya nyo, dalhin nyo sa church. Kung pwede, sipain nyo na yan. Kalad ka rin nyo sa church. Oh my! Walang peace. Kinaladkad mo yung mga bata sa church. Amen. Ang isip naman nila ay yung uh, cellphone, ML, gadget. Di ba mga batid? Kaya nga sabi ng prophet, may, for, may frontliners talaga eh. Tayo yung frontliners, tayo yung token every family. Tayo ay light in our house. Ang ibig kong sabihin, hindi rin tayo pwede maging complacent. Hindi tayo ginawan tamad. Amen sabi ng prophet, just throw your bread upon troubled waters. Maari ngayon, hindi nila, may, uh, hindi natin alam paano nila ina-accept yung ating sinasabi sa kanila. But one day, when we created that atmosphere, Brother Banham said, they will believe your word. They will believe you. Amen. Ang mahalaga, ikaw. Paano mo tayuan itong mensahe na ito? It's clear. Amen. Tinig yan ng Panginoon sa prophet. Sabi ng tinig, that is the reward of your ministry. If you believe the prophet, you will receive the prophet's reward. All that you love and ever love you shall be with you. Kaya sabi ng prophet, I know my family will be there. Billy Paul, Joseph, Rebecca will be there. Hallelujah. At hindi lang yun, may bonus. Fritz was there. Prince was there. Ha? Aso, mga kapatid, itinawid doon. Kabayo, si Prince. Di ba? Hindi lang yun. Pati yung Cleopatra niya, I don't know if that's a Cleopatra, basta coach. Amen? Na hulugan. Di ba? Hinuhulugan ng prophet. Gustong gusto niya yun. Hindi mabayaya, mabayaran yung hulog. Binawi. <laughs> oh. Kaya this is the most glorious age. Aalisin talaga yung worry mo dito. But again, hindi upang tayo ay maging tamad. Kundi ating makita ang dakilang biyaya ng Panginoon sa panahon na ito. He promised in Luke 17.30 that this same Son of Man, He promised it, would be rebuilt in the days like it was in Sodom. Upon the earth. Did he do it? Does it have to come to pass? It's impossible. Sabi ng prophet, but we know what it was, what uh, really he meant. Remember, he come in three sons' name. In three names. Son of man, a prophet, the son of God, 
the Spirit, the Son of David for the millennium. But in between this conjunction, now according to his own words, in the day when the Son of Man shall be revealed. Ano yung Son of Man? Word made flesh. Reveal himself as what? Not Son of God? Son of Man. Luke 17, 30. Will reveal himself in a different way. Bakit ibang way? Dati ay masculine. Pero ngayon ay different because he revealed himself in feminine form. Amen. Now, what does that make? Malachi 4, exactly right. See, the Son of Man will reveal himself not in a whole big denominations and things as we've had through the ages, but he would manifest himself as a Son of Man again to make manifest Malachi 4, and in that day I will send you Elijah the prophet, and he shall turn the hearts of the children to the faith of the apostolic fathers. Away from all this denominationalism, and came back, come back to the original word again. So, ang Malachi 4 ay dapat na rito upang isauli, bigkasin ang mga salita sa kanyang kabuuan. Kasi kung hindi mabigkas ang salita sa kanyang kabuuan, hindi ito magkakaroon ng kaganapan. Amen. And then, Brad Banham said, Amen, I am identified with that bride coming in. Amen. Ano ang purpose? To draw out that last day bride tree that he promised in the evening time it shall be light. Not through the misty day it shall be light. It will be a day, can be called day or night. See, it's making up the body. But the same head that was here in the east is here in the west again. There shall be light in the evening time. Merong liwanag na dakila. Amen. Pagdating ng kadiliman o gabi. Amen. So ano ito, mga kabadid? So let us see what the prophet said. Amen. So hindi ito sa pamamagitan, ulitin ko po, sa ating uh, sariling pamamaraan. Amen. Ang binunga nito sa atin ay kagalakan. Ang binunga sa atin nito ay tunay na kapanatagan. Hindi ka magwo-worry. Kasi kung tayo ay lalakad, pipilitin natin sa ating sarili na lakaran yung salita, mahihirapan tayo. Why? Every time, mga kapatid, na ikaw ay sumalangsang, amen, kakabugin mo yung dibdib mo at sasabihin mo, nagkasala ako. Amen. Babalik ka na naman sa first step. Pero we are so thankful, nothing to worry. Amen. Bakit? Dahil hindi mo kaya bilang tao, kailangan ni Orion darating. And that Orion, mga kapatid, coming forth as a light. For what? To vindicate the word promise in this day. Amen. Lord to God. Now, sabi niya rito, before the seals were opened, what's happening? I might say this, friends, the church is coming forth. Ha? Huh? Samantalang ang tagal na niyang nangangaral. Pero meron siyang tinutukoy na pagdating ng isang tunay na church. Sino itong church na ito? Church patawag niya before. Pero nung ma-open ng seal, sabi ng prophet, I will now call you bride. Amen. Kaya hiniwalay na ng uh, prophet ang church sa bride. Sabi niya, ang church ay pupunta sa tribulation at ang bride ay sa salubong sa Panginoon. 
Ano ba daw ano ba daw ang mangyayari? God's going to have a church without spot or wrinkle. And she's predestinated. God said so, he would have it. Meron siyang bride talaga na lulutang na walang uh, kulubot. Walang mansa, walang kulubot. That makes it right. Who's a member? I don't know. I am trusting to be myself. I'm trusting you are a member. But he's going to have a body without a spot or wrinkle. And I believe that these latter day signs and things that's happening, every one of them is peeling together to show that Christ is ready to come for his bride. Kasi hindi darating si Christ kung hindi kumpleto ang kanyang bride. Hindi darating si Christ kung uh, hindi pa nakadamit yung kanyang bride. Amen. Kailangan yung babalikan ni Christ na bride ay kapareho niya. Sabi ng prophet, she has to be a blood relation. Same life. Bone of his bone, flesh of his flesh, spirit of his spirit. Amen. As God in his word made manifest in a man, a perfect man, so is God and his word coming again and making himself manifested in a bride. So tama yung sabi ng prophet. Magmamanifest siya uli in this day, but in different way. So dito sinagot na niya, making himself manifested in a bride. Not will do like Eve did, hybrid it to something else, but the unadulterated word of God will be born into the church. And she'll stand like Jesus Christ did with his spirit anointing in his word. Amen. I believe it's the announcement now, 1962. Yan yung announcement ni Signus. Amen. Bakit po mga kabatid? Napakahalaga. Amen. Yung bride in this day sa Panginoon. Now, another quote I want to read. Notice the bride. If the bride in the beginning was the word or the bridegroom, and if the bride is taken from the bridegroom, it must be what? It must be the word also. Oh, maliwanag ba mga patid? So yun yung announcement. Before the seals were opened, merong bride na vindication of himself. Merong bride na vindication of the word. And that vindication of the word is the light of this age. It was the light of his age and this is the light in this age. The Orion. Amen. So maliwanag, kung ang bridegroom sa pasimula, nabasa natin sa John 1.1, kung ang bridegroom sa pasimula ay word, at ang bride ay galing sa bridegroom, ano siya? Amen. It must be the word also. Notice, the bride must be. So, it's a must. Amen. Kaya nga po, mga kapatid, wala pong impersonation ang bride. Maraming nag impersonate sa bride. But the Lord said, By their fruits you shall know them. What fruit? Sa teaching pa lang sa blayna. And if you have a wrong teaching, wrong life will follow. Ngayon, eh ang babait din naman. Hindi makabasag bula. Ngayon, ang tanong, masaya ba siya sa kanyang buhay? 
Paano masaya tumutulay sa alambre? Masaya ba kayo kung kayo ay tumutulay sa alambre? Nakalingon kayo lagi, baka may makatingin sa inyo. Stay natural. And if that word really is in you, Amen, you vindicate this word. Amen, hindi mo na kailangan turuan yung tupa na magpatubo ng malanyebeng balahibo. Hindi mo na kailangan i-manufacture yung life. It will follow. Hindi mo na kailangan turuan yung isdang lumangoy. Nakadesign siya na lumangoy. Amen? The same thing with us. Hindi mo na kailangan i-manufacture, hindi mo na kailangan pilitin, hindi mo na kailangan pukpukin. Kung kayo ay bride, bride talaga kayo, mga kapatid. Amen, hindi kayo foolish virgin na maging bride, no way. Brad, baka foolish virgin ka ngayon, bukas bride ka na. Diyos ko po. Oh, di ba? At least okay na, uh, foolish virgin ka, baka bukas makalawa. Brother Joed, bride ka na. Basta tama yung lakad mo, huwag ka lang mahulog sa tinutulayan mong alambre. Ang masakit pa niyan, tumutulay ka sa alambre, blind bolt, folded ka pa. Masaya ba kayo noon? Amen. No one can be justified by the law. And what is that law? Eh wala na tayo sa Mosaic law. Wala na tayo sa Levitical law. But what is that law? The prophet said, The law is the word of God in seed form. Amen. But when that word being manifested, it's no longer a law but grace. Bakit? Hindi mo na kailangan pilitin eh. Hindi mo na kailangan sikapin eh. Mga kapatid, pagsikapan ninyo. Hindi po. God already prepared it from the beginning. Ang Diyos ang naghanda niyan mula umpisa hanggang sa matapos lahat ito. Hallelujah. Why? Why? Must the bridegroom be the word manifested, made plain? It's because the bride and the bridegroom are one. She is just smitten piece off of him. There is the masterpiece. It was smitten. Michael Angelo could not reproduce that again. He could not put it back. But God is going to do it. He is going to bring this little bride that's smitten right back to the side of the original word. And there he is. There is the masterpiece, the family, back again in the Garden of Eden. Wala pa tayo doon sa literal na Garden of Eden. Pero ang mahalaga, yung Adam and Eve na i-restore na. Sino ba ang mahalaga sa time na yon sa Garden of Eden? Lahat naman ay mahalaga. Pero ang highlight ng Garden of Eden ay si Adam and Eve. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, sabi ng prophet, bilisan na natin yung uh, ating uh, pacing. Now, now, how he shall appear in the last days. Paano siya magpapakita sa mga huling araw? How he shall appear in the last days? is to bring the people back to the word. So that's the purpose. So that the bride will know her husband, know her mate. Sino yun? The revealed word. That's why this has to happen. It wasn't in the reformers. Hindi nangyari 
Sa mga reformers, when we say reformers, Luther, Wesley, Pentecost. Amen. Wasn't in Luther, Wesley, and the Pentecostals. And them. Scripture says it wasn't. But it will come. According to the promise. According to that star, Orion, coming forth as light. Amen. But it will come. That is His promise for this age. Pangako yan ng Panginoon sa panahon na ito. We are living in the age that His coming will be in. Amen. So alam na natin when we say coming, coming of the Lord, that's the seventh seal. And the coming ay twofold. Coming, 1963, dumating na siya. Ano ang purpose? Nakita natin, para sa ganon, ay i-form yung bride. Amen. She must be identified in Him. Kailangan. Any woman must be identified with her husband. For the two are one. And Christ's bride has to be identified with Him. For the two are one. And He is the Word, not the denomination. The Word. We are to be the children of the light. And the light is the Word, which is made light for this age. How do we know light except it comes from the Word? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God, and all things were created by Him, and He is the light of this world. All right. The Word made flesh is the light of the age. When you see it, and the Bible said so, merong word, hallelujah, na nag-manifest in this day, at ang daming coach yan, mga kapatid, ang nag-manifest in this day ay walang iba kundi ang word bride. Amen. Si Christ, sabi ng prophet, ay mag-manifest, magpapakita uli sa pamamagitan ng inyong mga flesh. Now, now, you're expressed. Amen. So yung uh, word made flesh is the light of the age. Now, sabi ng prophet, now you're expressed. The real you found you. Amen. The real you, which is eternal, have found you. And now, we are expressed. Pag sinabi natin express, that's the word made manifest or made flesh in this day. Amen. So, we can say, we can sing, I see the word made flesh again. Now you're expressed after his word has come in you. What for? To light up this age. Tayo ngayon ay narito sa total darkness, sa evening light or evening time rather, wherein darkness is gathering. And what is the purpose? To show the light. But again, only the predestinated will see this. And that is what the thunders, sabi ng prophet, Amen. This will open the eyes of others, but this will blind the others. Hallelujah. So after we are expressed, what is the purpose? To light up these aids. Amen. Glory to God. To light up this age. Now, sabi niya rito, you are expressing God's life in you. 
Amen. Ano ba yung life ni Christ? Di ba mga batid? Minsan na nawawala nga tayo sa ating minsan yung parang uh, yung pagkaunawa natin sa life ni Christ. Amen. Which is, tama rin naman yung pinangaral sa atin. Yun ay mga foundation. Di ba? Huwag kayong uh, magalit, malumanay kayo dapat sa pakikipag, uh, pakikitungon nyo sa kapwa. Amen. Ngayon, ang tanong, yung ba yung life? Amen. Yung life, mga kapatid, unang-una, alam ni Christ kung siyang sagaling. Alam ni Christ kung saan siya pabalik. At higit sa lahat, alam ni Christ kung ano yung mangyayari sa time na yan. In other words, alam niya yung scripture na napu-fulfill sa kanyang day. Just I, uh, yung na-preach ko this morning, Amen? Hindi po mga kapatid, Amen, katulad ng unawa ng tao. Ang tao sa panahon na ito, gusto niya lagi ay uh, appreciation. Amen. Gusto ng tao lagi ay yung sympathy. Am I right? Di ba mga patid? Kaya nung saysayin ng ating Panginoon ang mga bagay na mangyayari sa Kanya, anong sabi ni Pedro? Panginoon, hindi pwedeng mangyari sa iyo yan. Amen? Peter then was full of emotion. O, di nakarinig siya ng saway. Hindi malumanay na saway. Hindi siya inakbayan ni Lord Jesus Christ. And then, ikaw naman, Pedro? Alam mo, salamat, Pedro. Ah, mamaya, libre kita ng merienda. Di ba? Ang ganda yung sinabi niya, hindi pa pwede mangyari yan sa, pang sa iyo, Panginoon. In other words, pagtatanggol kita, Panginoon. Hindi, ano, hindi tinapik ni Lord si Pedro, kundi rin e biyok. Am I right? ni rebuke ni Lord si Pedro. Anong sinabi ni Lord kay Pedro? Satanas, lumagay ka sa aking likuran. Now, tignan natin, tuloy natin. Amen, tuloy natin mga kabadid. Nung time na nanggit si Mane, mga kabadid, siyempre, kailangan ma-fulfill yung scripture. Dumating ngayon si Judas. Siya ang nanguna dun sa mga aresto sa ating Panginoon. Sabi niya, kung sino yung aking hahalikan, siya na yun. Of course, marahil sa time na yun, magkakamukha sila. Pinatunayan ni Pedro ang kanyang sinabi sa Panginoon. Bagamat sinaway siya. Am I right? Sinaway na nga ng ating Panginoon si Pedro, mga kapatid, because of his emotion. Amen. Hindi niya napigilan yun. So, nung ginawa niya? Kanyang hinugot yung kanyang itak. At talagang tinagpas yung tenga ni Malko. Am I right? Si Lord ba at that time ay galing mo talaga, Pedro? Tunay kang ang kaibigan. Yan ang tao. Amen. Pero anong sabi ng Panginoon? Ang nabubuhay sa tabak ay mamamatay sa tabak. Hindi mo baga alam, ngayon din ay pwede akong magsugo ng laksang anghel upang ipagtanggol ako. Sabi ng Panginoon, ngunit kailangan matupad ang kasulatan. Yung bang sabi ni Lord, kailangan mapulfill yung scripture. Because that scripture being fulfilled in his day ay the light of that age. Amen. So nakita nyo na yung life ni Jesus Christ. Ang pinakamatindi nun, umabot sa sukdulan nung nadalaw siya sa templo. 
Ha? Pumunta si Lord doon, and then nakita niya, mga kapatid, yung bahay sampa, sambahan, ginawang tindahan na ng mga produkto. Amen? Yung simbahan ay ginawa ng presentation ng uh, uh, mga produkto. Dito sa ating time yun. Oh, nandun na yung, ano, yung mga paninda. At yung iba, ginagawa na rin lugar ng paninda yung simbahan. Doon na sila nagpe-present ng, uh, alam mo, mga kapatid, malaki ang kikitain mo rito. <laughs> Natawa si Brother Fred. Alam mo, malaki ang kikitain natin dito. O pag ito ay magkaroon ng recruit, makabili ng produkto. May papasok doon sa iyo. Ang gagaling. Alam mo, ginawa ni Lord at that time, natuwa ba siya? Naghanap siya ng tali. Lubid. Di ba mga batid? Kasing laki siguro dito. Malaki. O, lumapit ba si Lord doon? Ang ganda mga kapatid yung ginagawa niya. Tama yan, pagkakitaan ninyo yan. Para yumaman kayo. Ay, tinaob lahat yun. Tinaob, pinaghampas. Nagalit si Lord. Yan ba ang sinabi ng prophet? Yes, nagalit si Lord. Kaya lalong natisod ang mga tao. Di ba mga batid? Again, mga kapatid, kung titignan nyo, yung galit niya na yon ay merong katwiran. Bakit, mga kapatid, ginawang tindahan ang templo ng Diyos? Amen. Nagalit siya. So that's the life of Jesus Christ. First, alam niya saan siya galing. Pangalawa, alam niya kung saan siya patungo. Anong sabi niya, I came from God and I go back to God. Alam niya yung scripture. Anong sabi ni Lord? Search the scripture if you think you have eternal life. They are they that testify of me. Amen. So ang light of that age ay yung word made flesh. Amen. At ang word, uli. Nakita natin kanina, the word again is vindicated in this day. So dumating ngayon yung word sa atin. Ituloy lang natin mga kabatid. Now you are expressed. Yun, yung, yun din kanina. When? After His Word has come in you. What for? To light up this age. Bakit? Ito ay sobrang kadiliman. Kaya nga sabi ng Amos, mga kapatid, hanapin ninyo ang gumawa kay Pleiades at Orion. Kasi daw, bakit? Yung gabi ay gagawin niyang araw. Amen. Yung gabi ay gagawin niyang araw. Ito ay araw ng kadiliman. Ito yung Laodicea. The prophet said, nabasa natin, ito ay gathering ng uh, kadiliman, gathering of darkness. Pero may purpose ang Panginoon. To show the light. And that was the scripture prophesied by Zechariah 14. Amen. In the evening time, It shall be light. And that light is the word made flesh. It's the word vindicated, manifested in this hour. Now, mabigat na ito mga kapatid, yung kasunod. So, after his word has come to you to light up this age, you are expressing God's life in you. Tama? Tama? Because you are a son or a daughter of God. When we say son, mga kapatid, ay expression of God. Therefore, you get what I mean? 
you are now made your setting in this church because your duty is to express God to this nation and these people. Sabi ng prophet, walang ibang makita ng tao na expression ng Diyos in this day kundi ang word made flesh. Amen. Di ba mga patid? Isang buhay na hindi fabricated. Isang buhay na hindi tumutulay sa alambre. Amen. Na naka-blindfold pa. Di ba mga patid? Amen. Natatakot. Baka may makakita. Amen. Di ba yan yung mga, uh, mga parisis, mga uh, sadusis at that time? Di ba mga patid? They know the word. They were preaching the word. Pero nung dinayagnos ng Panginoon sila, mga kapatid, iisa lang ang kanyang nakita. Diretsahan, sabi ng Panginoon, para kayong mga nitsu. Sa labas, ang ganda-ganda, pinturado, marmol. Amen. Kumikinang, pero sa loob, punong-puno ng buto. And this message can produce so many hypocrites in this day. Amen. Bakit? Sa harap ng tao, ayos. Amen. Pero sa loob, mga kapatid, nandun yung uh, isang kalagayan na kailangan baguhin talaga ng ating Panginoon. Unless na baguhin yan, walang pagbabago sa labas. Amen. But God is obligated, according to His promise, Amen, itong liwanag na ito, si Orion, Amen, mabilis na dumating, Orion is the light, the light of heaven, Amen, manifested Himself in flesh 2,000 years ago, but now, in the flesh of His bride. Now, pinaliwanag ng prophet, Glory to God. Your duty is to express God to this nation and these people. And this neighborhood where you associate. Wherever you are, God knew you. God knew that you would be here. Because you have to be one of His genes or His attributes. You have to be. If you ever, if you've got eternal life then it always was eternal life. And God, before the foundation of the world, knew you, would you hear? You, God knew that you would be here. And when the word or the water, the washing of the water of the word fell upon you, it was expressed in a being. Now you have fellowship with your father. God, just as you have with your earthly father, you are citizens of the king. Not citizens, but you are children, sons and daughters of the living God. So, paano pinakilala ng Panginoon ng kanyang sarili? Same thing. I am, or rather, uh, Peter who told and expressed, you are the son of the living God. So, naintindihan natin yun. Now then, if it was... Jesus was the fullness of God manifested. He was the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Therefore, when He came to the earth and was manifested in flesh, you were here in Him then. That's it. Because He was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Word was made flesh. Therefore, you walk with Him when you were in Him, when He was on earth. Kasama ba niya tayo? Kasama. Because that man then, 2,000 years ago, was both masculine and feminine. 
you suffered with him and you died with him you was buried with him and now you are risen with him and manifested attributes of God setting in heavenly places already raised resurrected to new life and setting in heavenly places in Jesus Christ in Christ Jesus that means so much nowadays church that means so much to us amen mahalaga ito sa bawat isa sa atin to see ourselves positionally placed in Jesus Christ amen of course merong uh, progression ng ating understanding ang ating understanding noon Ah, okay na kung ako ay tagapakinig. Di ba? Ako ay ano? Ah, deacon. Ako ay tagahugas na lang ng mga plato sa baba. Nung una, akala natin yan ang ating position. Sa mga musician naman, ako yung musician, kami yung mga musician. Okay na yon. Pero ibang position ito, mga kapatid. That means so much to us to see ourselves positionally placed in Jesus Christ. Balikan natin mamaya before we go to that showdown. Now, if we are those attributes of God, we cannot live by creeds. Hindi po pwede, mga kapatid. Maiinip ka. Kung credo, pag sinabi nating credo, mga doktrina yan ng church na hindi ka pwedeng uh, mag-question, hindi ka pwedeng ano, uh, sabi ng uh, iba, hindi ka pwedeng lumihis. Otherwise, ikaw ay uh, nasa labas ng katawan. But we know, God is always, hindi siya yung stagnant God, siya yung tinatawag natin na nagpapahayag patuloy. Sabi niya, we cannot live by creeds, we cannot live by denominationalism, and uh, sorry to say, ang denominational spirit ay nandito na sa end time. We must live by the word, because the bride is the part of the bridegroom. Like any wife is part of her husband. Therefore, we must be that word bride. And what is that word bride? Sino pa itong word bride na ito? Amen. Sabi rito, the manifestation in this hour. The manifested word in this hour is the light of the age. Sabi ba yan ng prophet? Yes. The manifestation of this hour, the bride, not a creed or a denomination, but a living oracle of God. A living attribute of God displaying to the world the attributes of God in the formation of the bride. That's to be expressed in this hour that we are living. Kaya, Salamat sa Panginoon. Sabi ng prophet, ulitin ko po. Kung pagpipiliin ako ng panahon, kung meron akong karapatan, pumili ng panahon, pag ibalik ang Diyos, kung sakali lang, hindi naman na pwedeng babalik. Amen. Sabi ng prophet, mas pipiliin ko pa rin itong panahon na ito. Bakit? Fullness po ito, mga kapatid. Amen. Pakiano mo, Brad? Baka matumba. Fullness ng word. Dito sa ating time, mga kapatid, may mga ilan. May mga ilan na hindi makakaranas ng physical na kamatayan. Hanggang makita nila ang anak ng tao ay magkaroon ng kapahayagan. And I'm so blessed to be a part of this bride in the last day. 
The manifestation of this hour, the bride, not a creed or a denomination, but a living oracle of God, a living attribute of God displaying to the world the attributes of God in the formation of the, the bride that's to be expressed in this hour that we are living. So ang bride, na-i-place na, na siya sa kanyang perfect position. At kung uh, meron pang iba, we are still waiting for them. Mahalaga ba yung uh, knowing your position? Paki ano nga, brother Jeremy? When the church knew her position, Amen? Hindi yung position natin dito sa church, hindi. Yung position natin kay Christ. No. Yung ano na lang, the rapture will go. Amen. Pag malaman na ng bride, yung kanyang uh, position kay Christ, then, uh, one day, the rapture will go. Sabi niya sa taas, The new birth is Christ, is the revelation. God has revealed to you this great mystery. And that's a new birth. Now what are you going to do when you get all that group together? Where the revelation is perfectly in harmony. Pare-pareho. And right now as your brother, I'm seeing right now the perfect, amen, harmony in revelation. Hindi man dito sa atin, dito sa uh, lugar na ito, may nakikita na tayo, you know who they are. Sa Iloilo, sa Bicol, sa Visayas, sa Cebu, sa Mindanao. They have this. And God expressing it through His Word by the same actions, the same things that He did, making the Word manifest. So, anong purpose? Making the Word manifest. If the church only knew its position, pag malaman na ng church ang kanyang position, then what will happen? It will one day the rapture will go when it knows what it is. Hindi po yung nung una nating naririnig, the rapture will come. Nakita natin dito, the rapture will go. Sabi ng prophet, the rapture is here. Luther was a part, Wesley was a part, the Alpha brethren were a part. Amen, and we are part. If Itong last day bride, makita na niya lahat ito, then one day, the rapture will go. Now, maybe last. Pero tulad ng aking sinabi, hindi lahat ito makakita. Hindi lahat ito rather makita. Amen. Ang makakakita lang nito ay yung mga elected. Sabi ng prophet, we're in the last days and the last hours of the days. Kita na natin kanina, sabi ng prophet, nasa dulo na tayo ng Laodicea. Ang mundo ay nasa Laodicea but we are caught up and we entered into another age. Spiritually speaking, wala na tayo sa Laodicea. Literally speaking, nasa Laodicea pa tayo. Nalito ba tayo? We are still part of this Laodicea, this flesh. Pero inside of you, amen, meron ng uh, nangyari. Amen. Tayo ngayon ay nasa bride age. Kasi expression ito ng bride. Do you see him now in his word? And all of his word made manifest right here before us? Nakita niyo na ba yan? Oh, Church of the Living God, get to your feet. Believe Him with all your 
all that's in you. Paniwalaan ninyo ang lahat na nasa inyo. Yan bang sabi? O church of the living God, get to your feet, believe Him with all that's in you. Lahat, bigay na. Hold to that little wheel in the middle of the wheel. Let it stabilize every move and every motion that you make. Every thought that you have, may it be controlled by this tower of the inside of you. Because God is setting right in His word of this hour. In the evening light, showing forth the light. Showing forth Orion. Amen. Naalala ko tuloy yung dream ni Brother Fred. Uh, am I right yung si Brother Bahan may lumalabas na liwanag sa kanyang labi? Yan yung word. Lumabas sa bibig ng prophet. Kasi yun yung way ng Panginoon. Ang mystery, walang ibang gagawin ng Diyos kundi ipapahayag ang kanyang lihim sa kanyang lingkod na propeta. Binigkas ng propeta, mga kapatid. Pero ngayon, ito ay nagkaroon ng kaganapan. At ang kaganapan ng binigkas ng propeta ay walang iba kundi ang bride. Amen. At narinig din ni Brother Fred yung tinig, Arise! At yan yung isang scripture natin. Arise! For the light has come in you! Ya sabi ko mga kapatid, yung mga dreams na yan na fulfill in this day. Amen. The blindness of the bat. You could turn on the light and the bat would be so blind he could not fly. A whole hoot all. All those night prowlers and things like that, roaches and things can see in the daytime. They don't know what it's all about. They can see. So nung uh, in the evening time it shall be light, and this light is the manifestation of the word in this hour, hindi lahat yan makakita. Kasi ayaw man natin o hindi, meron talagang hindi sa kanila, hindi angkop sa kanila ang liwanag. Pag binuksan mo yung ilaw, ang mga ipis ay nagkukumahog. Amen. Saan sila pumupunta? Sa dilim. At wala akong nakita na masayang lumilipad na paniki sa katirikan ng araw. Meron ba? Wala rin akong nakikita na kwago. Amen. Na masayang masaya. Amen. At naglilipana sa katirikan ng araw. Wala po mga kapatid. Pero meron akong alam. Ano man, amen, ang kalagayan, araw man o gabi, matapang siyang lumipad. Amen. Bakit meron siyang confidence dun sa kanyang pakpak? Sabi ng prophet, ano yon agila? Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? Alam niya, mga kapatid, kung ano yung kanyang kakayanan. And we are so blessed to be identified in this day with that Orion. Sabi ni ng scripture, seek, amen, ye, amen, the maker of the seven stars and Orion. And we are so blessed. Amen. Hindi na natin kailangan siyang hanapin. Siya ang naghanap sa atin. The prophet said, the real you found you. At ngayon, we are enjoying this revelation. So nakita nyo si Christ. Sabi niya, I am the light of this world. And then sinabi niya, binaling niya, you are the light of this world. Amen. Paano tayo naging liwanag? So sinusugan ni Peter, sabi niya, the day star arise in your heart. So that day star is the sun. And the prophet said, 
merong dual sun rising in this day. Amen. Ano yung dual sun rising in this day? S-U-N and S-O-N. S-U-N, yan yung nakikita ng mundo. Pero hindi nila nakikita yung another sun rising, yung the rising of the S-O-N. The rising of the Son of Man manifested and expressed sa pamamagitan ng formation ng bride. Are you glad, saints? So lahat ng identification niya nagkaroon ng manifestation right now in this day. 2,000 years ago it was manifested. But now, we can say, I see the Word made flesh again. Amen. Salamat sa Panginoon. I believe, habang uh, pag natapos na natin itong series na ito, then you can see all the detail of the picture. Magkikita nyo yung all detail of the picture. Amen. Pati yung end. Amen. Ng mga temporal things. So, salamat sa Panginoon. I will give it to Brother Eric. For the remaining time. Salamat, Pastor. Salamat sa message na napakagandang message mula pa kaninang maga pinagkakalob sa atin ng uh, Panginoon and uh, ang series ay uh, naririto na sa sub-constellation ni Taurus Pastor which is uh, called uh, Orion and uh, sa mga astronomy ano po uh, you know uh, every every time na uh, magpapatuloy tayo sa series at uh, pinapakita ang uh, formation sa uh, uh, projector no hindi ko ma alis sa aking sarili na Sana magkaroon din ako ng time na tingtumingala sa langit para matukoy na ano nyo ba yun? Kasi totoong nandyan sila eh. Yung first Bible. Pero mapalad tayo kasi hindi na tayo pinahirapan tumingala. Nandito na. Hindi <laughs> na tayo titingala ng gano'n. Natahanapin pa. Saan ba yung pastor? Kasi ang ang uh, ang isa lang sa mula bata ako ang madalas namin tinuturo sa langit, yung ano, nakakross. Nung medyo, oh yun, yung nagkaedad daw. Kasi, titingala namin yung pag Christmas. <laughs> Nung medyo gumugulang na, isang bagay ang natatandaan ko, yung Big Deeper. Kasi yung tumuturo sa Morning Star, ganyan, sa kung saan yung direction, nagbibigay ng direction. Yun lang. Pero sa dami-dami nating dinidiscuss dito, ako ay uh, nag-aano ba, nagbubulay-bulay. Maano ko rin yan. Kasi there are places in the world where uh, merong majestic sight talaga during ano, yung, mag, yung morning at saka yung gabi. Yung kahit may araw pa lang makikita mo na yung ano, ng sky. Makikita mo na yung constellation sa sky. Sa ating bihira yun, ano, lalo na ngayon maulap. Ano? So since these are real that uh, the Bible itself testifies uh and dami daming uh, constellation sub constellation pa yung uh, nabanggit sa Masarot kasi napakaliwanag nito eh speaks about the coming actually sa mga astronomy binigyan nila ito ng kanilang commentary then uh they gave him a uh, traits as a prince. Prince, the one that's coming. And uh, as they describe it as a glorious one. Pinaka, isa sa pinakamaluwalhati. And uh, I hope someday, no, bago, or siyempre makikita na natin yan eh. I, I, I'm, ano lang ako, nagbulay-bulay lang ako. Kasi first Bible yan eh. Di po ba? Uh, Dito yan, ang sentro niyan, itong earth. Hindi <laughs> yan magbabago ng placement yan kung lumipat ka sa iba. 
dito yan sa earth lahat, nakaposisyon yan mga kapatid. In other words, kung yung Bible, hindi naka, yung sentro o yung tema niyan, hindi na kay Kristo, masisira ang feature niyan. Just like the same, ano, ganun din sa Zodiac or sa Masarot. And uh, a blessed thing from the Lord na hindi man tayo astrologer, hindi naman tayo mga magis, pero ibinigay na yung interpretasyon nito sa atin ngayon. Kalakip yung kaganapan ng mga, um, although sometimes may kailangan tayong balikan as type, right? As type, kagaya ng, uh, ng uh, yung, ang hain, sacrifice, ganyan-ganyan. But uh, we're blessed because uh, yung reality of the purpose, yung, yung layunin talaga, nung types na yon ay uh, nagkaroon ng uh, kaganapan lahat at pagdating natin is ano na lahat um, um, tapos na yung pagbabayad tapos na rin yung paghihintay claiming time na yung ating pagdating sapagkat lahat yun ay realidad bagamat uh, kasi libu-libong taon din yung uh, binilang nun upang uh, matupad ang lahat ng mga hula no sa kalangitan, mga kapatid, sapagkat wala pa man tayo, wala pa man tayo, yung first Bible, nandyan na eh. Nandyan na yung first Bible. Hindi ko malimutan yung uh, binanggit ni Pastor that even before na nakikipag-fellowship si Lord Jesus Christ during the cool of the day kay Eve at saka kay Adam, ay dinidiscuss niya na rin yung masarot. Kaso lang, wala silang, wala pa silang idea No, kumbaga malabo pa yun sa kanila kasi hindi pa nangyayari. So ang kaliwanagan ay pag natupad. Kaya yun nakamatch ano, nakamatch ang uh, ang uh, uh, lahat ng uh, bagay and it's a big point to 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 tackle or to discuss this uh, constellation because uh, the the name itself means light. No, light So, yung light is life. And Brother Banham said, uh, when God created the earth, sabi niya, I believe that uh, the first light that struck the earth was the word of God. Amen. Yun talaga yung, the, yung first light was the word of God ang nag-struck dito. And those uh, things that we see now, ngayon na, yung liwanag, yung araw na yan, It's just a manifestation of God's word. Di po ba? And then we found out that uh, without really the light from God, the space would be void, dark. So, uh, uh, taking the principles of law of contrast, makikita mo talaga the traits of God ay ina-unveil niya unti-unti. Di po ba? Yung space void yan. Kung wala yung creation ng God na stars, Anong makukuha mo diyan wala. Kapag walang stars, walang light. Hindi right. po ba? At uh, eh, we know better than scientists do na scientists uh, gives age and beginning and ending to every stars. Pero ang Diyos na crea- who created those stars uh, represents saan nila kinukuha yung fuel. Right? Like the, our sun. Sabi may may shiner sa amin si Pastor before, mayroon ang tayo ay uh, ang, ang, ang structure or yung substance ng earth is galing sa sun, which is true. Kaya meron din tayong uh, core, eh. pinaka-core, which is uh, similar to what the sun uh, is made of. Di po ba? So, uh, ung, uh, ating uh, titignan mga kapatid, na yung the word itself ay nagkakaroon ng tunay na kahulugan or interpretasyon pag ito ay isinasabuhay o minamanifest ng Diyos. Di po ba? So, hindi basta-basta yan. Maaring uh, sa mundo, at ito ang, pinaka, ito ang pinakamadilim. Ang, ang sabi ni Brother Van Ham, ano, yung... Uh, 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 physically or literally, you can be in a place where yung wala talagang light, totally pitch black. Pero, y- you can do a spark. Right, right. Then, ano, you can create a light. 
kahit konti lang na light you can do. Pero dito sa kalagayan natin ngayon, which is in-illustrate din ni Brother Van Ham that one time at that seventh day, meron pa sanang natitirang liwanag. I'm speaking about the seven church age illustration. Nung unang illustration niya, meron pang konting liwanag. Spiritually speaking, mga kapatid, tayo ay nabuhay sa pinakamadilim, pitch black. Pitch black talaga, mga kapatid, na panahon, pinakamadilim. Bakit? Yung kanyang created, yung tao na kinreate niya, totally nawala na, nahiwalay niya talaga, mga kapatid. But thanks be to God because He has a promise. Yung law of contrast na naman nandun, sa pinakamadilim na panahon, doon siya si Sibol. That's why Orion is perfect. No? Perfect. No? Mar- sa, 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 sa maraming panahon, pwede mo siyang i-apply kailan si dumating even 2,000 years ago because he needs, to, he needs to redeem. He needs to pay. Pero ito yung pinakamadilim. Sinasabi ng ating Biblia, sinasabi ng ating prophet, sinasabi ni Zodiac, mga kapatid, because there's no use of the light kung walang darkness. Law of contrast. Di po ba? Walang use ang light. Di po ba? And that's one, just only one use of the light, to give light, which is life. And uh, isa sa pinakamahalagang purpose ng life is to quicken the seed. <laughs> Alam niyo mga kapatid, napaka-misteryoso ng ating binhi. Bakit? Sa gabi pinukaw. <laughs> napaka-misteryoso ng binhi mo. Bakit sa gabi pinukaw? Usually, pinupukaw ang binhi sa umaga. Now, may quote po, may quote. Kanina lang, binaba ko lang yung quote ni Pastor eh. Meron palang evening seed. Di po ba? Usually, yung seed, tinatanim siya at saka nandyan yung matabang lupa, tamang rain, tapos may sunlight, nandyan yung mga factors para siya ay mag-grow. Pero meron palang special na seed. Ang tawag sa kanya ay evening seed. At yung evening seed na yon ay yun ay magiging evening light. Alam niyo magkaiba yung umaasa lang sa light, sa light mismo? Yung umaasa lang sa light, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng, ng blocks or, or, or uh, between that uh, source of light and then where the reflection uh, ay dumadapi, dumadampi mga kapatid. Pwede kang maglagay between them. And what happens? Una, shadow, and then total darkness to that spot. Pero yung light mismo, hindi mo po pwedeng. Hindi mo po pwedeng anuhin yun, mga kapatid. Hindi mo pwedeng diliman yun, mga kapatid. Light siya mismo eh. Ang mangyayari, yung light, pag nandyan yung light, yung darkness tatakas. Now, I, I, I just mentioned that because in this hour, marami ang just only reflected by the light. That's why hindi makago hindi makapas. Di ba mga kapatid? Umaasa lang sa reflection. But you need to be, kailangan talaga yung Christ in the hour is the light siya talaga yung magmanifest. Remember, the light itself is yung manifestation ng word just like 2,000 years ago. Siya yung light. I am the light. And today, it's the same. It's Christ again on the scene. The coming. Di ba mga kapatid? So, we're blessed. We're blessed, mga kapatid, for this revelation. Uh, salamat sa Panginoon, na, no? hindi natin to uh, kung saan-saan kinuha. Meron itong pinag-ugatan talaga. Ano po, mga kapatid? Meron itong uh, pinagkuhanan ng Panginoon at uh, oh, pinagdalahan ng Panginoon. Itong uh, pagdating nitong si Orion. Kasi dito ang pangalan, coming, parating. Eh ngayon, dumating na. <laughs> Di ba? Yan ay scripture na magaganap. Ngunit ngayon ay nagkaroon ng kaganapan. No, sa mga kaganapan mga kapatid, meron yan mga layunin kung bakit siya darating ang liwanag. Kanina, yung iba ay mga nabanggit ko na. At basa lang ako ng three quotes just to I pray that it adds up to what? Malinis na eh. <laughs> Di ba mga kapatid? Tatawa si Father Joy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Pwede ba pastor siya ulit tawagin <laughs> next time? <laughs> Sabi niya, watch carefully now and see this. No? Ah, hindi pala to, iba to, iba to. Sorry ah. Ito pala. 
Sorry. Tingnan nyo itong quote na to. Karugtong ito ng binasa ni Pastor kanina. Sabi niya, to what? To ripen the seed. Diba po? Okay. Uh, pag tinuloy nyo po yung basa nito, Brother Van Ham is uh, detailing the how the gospel travels from the east to west. Right? From the east to west. No? The same sun that shines there, that shine there with the same power upon Pentecost, alpha yan eh. Di po ba? To ripen the seed he had planted, the same sun is shining now in the western hemisphere because that's Brother Van Ham in America. Right? And we know, hindi, pagkatumukoy na tayo ngayon ng bride age, hindi na ito sa England, hindi na ito sa America, hindi na ito sa Pilipinas. It is the the real bride, 2,000 years old body of Christ. Amen. Di po ba mga kapatid? At lahat yan ay uh, sa evening tinawag. Di po ba? To what? To ripen the seed, the Western Hemisphere. To what? To ripen the seed that's been planted to bring forth a bride. Para iparating yung bride, yun yung layunin ng pagdating ni Orion. The evening light of the gospel will bring forth a bride. Amen. Di po ba? For the Lord Jesus. Para kanino ba yung bride na yun? Para sa groom. Di po ba? Ang tinutukoy nating ano nito ay ang Panginoong Jesus siya lamang. This sum of the evening seed signs. Di po ba mga kapatid? This sums of the evening seed signs. Hundreds of them. Hindi milyon ha. Kukunti lang yan mga kapatid. Hundreds of them. So that's the quote that I'm uh, speaking. Last two quotes. Amen. And he said, Right? Ngayon, saan ba ito lahat uh, uh, yung light, ano? yung liwanag nitong message? Saan ba ito nang galing lahat? One time, ang prophet ay uh, para bang uh, sinubukan sa pamamagitan ng pagtatanong dahil sa bigat ng ministry na binagkaloob ng Panginoon sa kanya, eh, may nagsabi sa kanya, pwede mo nang, uh, pwede nang, ano ha, pwede nang magsulat or Ano mang bagay ay eh, pwede mo nang dugtungan ah. Parang gano'n ang sistema, no? Basahin natin. Uh, pa to make it short. And he said, well then, them seven thunders, you see, kasi yun ang tanong eh. Ito ba ay ibibigay sa, maari nang ibigay sa kung sino man. Para ipahayag. Di po ba? Para to make it short. Alam naman natin ito, di po ba? Them seven thunders, you see. Si Wooden, them seven thunders blasting. Because, Ito talaga yung naglit. Yung message of the hour ay galing dito. Brother Branham told us na yung first pool, second pool, bahagi, ngunit yung third pool talaga ang magbibigay ng rapturing faith sa bride. In other words, mga kapatid, ito talaga yung magbibigay sa kanya ng unawa sa kanyang posisyon, which is the light of the hour. Amen? Okay, now, now maybe... Parang ano tayo, ano? yung parang si Brother ba na pagka nagko-quote tayo or, or parang ganun na lang ba? Parang quote lang, letter lang mga kapatid. Pero hindi po, si Brother ba na mismo ay nagbanggit ng mga ilaw na ito na literal itong darating. Okay, mamaya, last quote yan mga kapatid. Ano? Kasi this is part. Itong, itong liwanag na ito, itong ilaw na itong darating, ay hindi lang yung, hindi lang of course, una, kailangan maunawaan mo. Pero literal or supernaturally, darating ito. Ang, ang 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 isang layunin kung bakit makikukwikin niya yung seed, yung evening seed, yung bride, kundi para ano, para makasama niya. In order para makasama niya, kailangan magkaroon ng rapture. Di po ba mga kapatid? Lahat yan, umpisa sa light, matatapos sa light. Tingnan niyo mga kapatid. Wala ng darkness eh. Inumpisa ng Panginoon sa light. So sabi niya, No sir, it would be adding something to it or taking something from it. It oh, it's all revealed in there. Nandun na siya. Right? Hindi na ito kailangan dagdag. The seven seals open up the revelations of what that was. Oh, sino pa ngayon yung mag-aano? 
Sino pa ngayon yung mag uh, babalak na dumagdag o ng revelation dito sa ipinahayag na sa prophet? E nandyan na yan. Ipinahayag na yung uh, seven seals, mga kapatid. That was, that, that's what it was. And it's still the word. You can't get, you can't get out of that word. Oh, Bisaya na naman yung nagsulat nito. <laughs> you can't get eh. You can't get out of that word. It won't leave the word. And God's spirit will never leave that word. It will stay right with the word. Ano daw ang gagawin? It will stay right with the word. Blinding some. So hindi, hindi porkit maliwanag, magbibigay ng liwanag sa pata. Brother Van Ham plainly said, it will blind some. Wala magagawa. Di po ba mga kapatid? And open the eyes of the others. It will always do that. Ito ay isa sa mga ginagawa ng light. Wala tayong magagawa po dyan, mga kapatid. Blinding some. Nakakabulag. And lastly, the one that I'm speaking about, this literal light that is coming. Right? Brother Banam even speaks about it. Eh, pag sinabi ni Brother Banam, walang mangyayari, kundi mangyari to. Walang ibang mangyayari. Eh, it's it's all, all also light. No, mga kapatid? That's the, that's the way the rapture is going to be. Paano daw? Sabi ganun kanina, if the bride only knew her position, its position, then the rapture will go. And Brother Banham literally speaks about the going away of the bride. Paano ito magtitake place? Right? So, sabi niya dito, one of them will drop right down. Ano ba yon? Light ulit. Ito, And this, nandiyan na po ba? Okay po. Last quote na po ito. One of them will drop right down. And this terrestrial body will take a celestial body. There will be hide, hair, or bone left. It will be transformed in a moment of time dropping right out of space and taking home that. Oh, alam niya natin kung ano yung binabanggit ni Bado Panam, ano? We see all things going on now in the Pentagon wondering about these lights. Diba? Ngayon mga kapatid, spiritually speaking, yung message ay nakabubulag. Right? Ngayon, yung iba... Dahil nakabubulag ito, wala na silang hinintay na physical na manifestation ng light ng sinabi ni Bada Banam, right? Di ba nangyari? Maraming naging extreme sa message. Pero sinabi ni Bada Banham, ha, ang sinampol niya dito na nakakakita nitong mga manifestation ng light na ito ay hindi message churches. Pentagon. Ibig sabihin nakakapture nila yung light na yan, mga kapatid. Pero lagpas na sa kanilang kaalaman, eh, wala din doon sa isang Uh, so-called humahawak. Di ba mga kapatid? Sabi nito, Pentagon wondering about these lights and mystic lights. Right? Remember, we're talking about the light that is coming. Brother Banham said, it is coming to pick you up. Right? So it's still a, a continuation of fulfillment of this light coming. One purpose para makot up tayo, spiritually speaking, by revelation, nakot up tayo from Laodicean Church Age to Bride Age. Pero hindi ito numihinto. Ito, hindi ito spiritual. Totoo ito, mga kapatid. Totoo itong mangyayari, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord. Amen. And mystic lights, and every there is seeing in, this, uh, in the sky. You seen they had one here in the paper, Jefferson Bill, this week. Panahon, 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 mystic lights. So, don't you know that That's that's it. Uh, you don't you know what that is? But listen, little children, it's going to pick you up one of these days. Amen. Walang ibang ipipick up kung papaano pinick up nung evening light na yun yung seed mo, the same thing yung light na yun mga kapatid, ang pipick up sa atin para tayo ay mag-glorified. It's going home time. God bless. Praise the Lord. I believe that with all my heart. 
yung season na yon na maraming recorded na appearance ng Mystic Light, that was the time when uh, the seals were open. Amen. Time yon ng opening ng seals. Bakit po mga kapatid, sinagot yan ng prophet. Nung mabuksan ang seals, lahat ng mga believers sa church ages ay nagkaroon ng jubilee time. Nagkaroon sila ng revival. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? And then, sabi ng science, sabi ng mga uh, defense uh, people at that time, UFO. Kaya nauso yung uh, ano nun, yung uh, theory na merong tinatawag na alien. Di ba? Hanggang sa sunod-sunod, sinapelikula nila yung extraterrestrial, Martians, because of the appearance of that mystic lights. Pero sabi ng prophet, wala silang kamalay-malay. One of these days, this will pick you up. Amen. Yun na yung finality, mga kapatid, because the glorified body, pinakita na ni Lord. Amen. Doon sa Matthew 17, pinakita na ni Lord ang tinatawag na glorified condition. Anong nakita ng alagad niyang tatlo? Nagliwanag ang ating Panginoon. Pa parang araw. Kaya nga doon sa city, hindi na kailangan ng araw. Di ba mga kapatid? Bakit? Nagliliwanag yung mga naroon. By the way, sa science, mga kapatid, sabi ng prophet, kahit itong katawan na ito, kahit ito ay perverted, merong pa rin part yan na, na, part yan na light itong body. And the evidence of it, sabi ng prophet, ay kung ikaw ay magpa-X-ray. Sabi ni Brother Banham, paano nakuha yung image yung uh, nandun sa loob? Yung X-ray ba ang uh, uh, kumuha dun sa image sa loob? Hindi. Sabi ng prophet, it's the light that's in there. So itong body na ito ay perverted, meron ng cosmic light, di how much more yung glorified body? Di ba mga kapatid? So we are so thankful, yan ang tutunguhan natin. Actually anyway, sa nalalabi na mga, nalalabi nating mga series, mga houses, talaga very plain talaga makikita natin yung manifestation. Ang tawag doon ng prophet right now ay mga theopany. Amen. Pero pag ang theopany na unite sa body na yan, ang tawag doon ay glorified body. Kaya tinawag yan na glorified body, glorious body, kasi siya ay punong-puno ng liwanag. Amen. Di ibig sabihin, nakakasilaw pala tayo at the time, hindi po mga patid. Merong time na yan ay kung gusto natin expression tulad ni Lord, in-express niya doon sa uh, Mount Transfiguration. Amen. Pero nung Nung si Pedro na naman yata, Pedro ano, masyadong emotional, Lord, sabi niya, maggawa tayo ng kubol para kay para sa'yo. Para kay Moses, para kay Elijah. <laughs> Amen. At nung uh, itaas na nila yung ulo nila, wala na silang ibang nakita kundi ang ating Panginoon. Anong sabi ni Lord? Huwag niyong ipagsabihan na seven silian. <laughs> Seven thunders yan. Na yan ay lalong mahayag sa huling panahon. So salamat sa Panginoon sa kanyang biyaya sa atin. Hindi natin ito effort. Hindi ito nakukusa pamamagitan ng ating talino. Ito ay pagpapahayag ng ating Panginoon. So salamat sa Diyos sa uh, hapon na ito. We are so thankful din sa mga kapatiran doon sa Nueva Ecija. Sila din ay patuloy na nag-grow. No, kanina napaganda rin yung fellowship namin. Amen yung mga bagong mga ano doon, mga dumadalo, tuwan-tuwa. At ini-interview ko sila. Ang sabi nila, pastor yung sa church namin pa ikot-ikot lang naman yung mga pinapangaral. Oh. So dito nakita namin patuloy na nauunawaan namin ang uh, sakdal na kalooban ng ating
Panginoon. So, hindi naman yan upang tayo ay magmapurit sa ating sarili. Ang gusto talaga ng ating Panginoon, tayo ay magalak. Kasi ang pinaka-important element ng body change ay exceeding joy. Hindi malulubos ang uh, kagalakan sa iyo kung hindi ipahayag sa iyo ng Panginoon ang mga bagay na ito. Aalisin niya yung lahat ng worry, amen, sa pamamagitan ng bibig, pagbibigay niya sa atin ng uh, kanyang kapahayagan. So salamat sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Tayo ay tumayo mga kabatid. So next time we will uh, view Eridanus. Eridanus, that river of judgment, a river of life. Amen. Let us sing beyond the curtain of time. <coughs> One day I'm thinking of your word On what the prophet has been told Just beyond this road There is a better world Where I can be with you, my Lord As I began to understand A great redemption and your plan I looked beyond and saw a better land You hold my hand as we stand King and Queen that's who we are in the land not so far beyond the curtain of time our joys will be beyond supply we will be the world goodbye no more sickness no more cry there will never more die no tears will ever be Thank you, Lord. And then we shall see him face to face. While we are enjoying all this grace. For beyond this race, there is a better place. Where all the wrongs will cease, all will be peace. Me and Queen, that's who we are, in a land that's not so far, beyond the garden of time, our joys will be beyond sublime. We will be the world goodbye, no more sickness, no more cry, there will never more die, no tears will ever dim our eyes, King and Queen, that's who we are, in a land that's not so far, Beyond the curtain of time, our joys will be beyond sublime. We will be the world goodbye. No more 
more sickness, no more cry. There will never more die. No tears will ever dim our eyes. No tears will ever dim our eyes. Amen. Hallelujah. Salamat Lord sa hapon na ito. Salamat Lord sa buong maghapon na ito. Napatuloy Lord na pinapahayag mo ang iyong mga salita. At Lord kami ay uh, nagpapakumbaba sa lahat ng mga bagay na ito. At Lord salamat na ito ang nagbibigay sa amin ng kagalakan sa aming mga puso. Ito Lord ang nagbibigay sa amin ng tunay na kapayapaan. Ito Lord ang nagbibigay sa amin ng tunay na kapanatagan at katiyakan sa aming paglilingkod. At salamat Lord na sa pamamagitan Lord ng pagpapahayag na ito, naalis Lord ang aming mga worries sabagat Lord meron kang salita, meron kang uh, kapahayagan na binubuksan na ito ay walang iba kundi Lord ang aming uh, destinasyon. I pray, Lord, na ang aming mga narinig ay patuloy, Lord, na maimbak hindi sa aming mga isip lamang, kundi sa aming mga puso. At tulad, Lord, ang sinabi ng iyong propeta, walang ibang authorized na interpreter ng word, kundi ikaw lamang, Panginoon. At ang mga salita na ito na binigkas sa uling panahon na ito, ay nagkakaroon na ng interpretation tulad ng sinabi ng iyong propeta na ito ay walang iba kundi ang iyong nobya. Salamat Lord at uh, kami ay pansamantala muli na magtatapos. Kami na naman ay babalik sa aming uh, normal si sa buhay na ito. Dalain ko God na ang mga tinanggap namin na kapahayagan ay ito ang magbigay sa amin Lord ng uh, kalakasan Magbigay sa amin, Lord, ng uh, 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 power upang sa ganun, Lord, hindi kami ma-overcome ng mga bagay, Lord, ng uh, mundo na ito. Pati na rin, Lord, ang salot na ito na pinahintulutan mo tulad, Lord, ang sinabi ng uh, yung propeta, ang uh, kadiliman ngayon ay nagkakatipon. Ngunit merong kang liwanag na yun naman, Lord, ay nagkakaroon ng uh, ningning sa panahon na ito. Salamat, Lord. At baon-baon na naman namin ito sa aming pag-uwi sa aming mga tahanan. At nawa, ang kagalakan namin ay makita rin ng aming mga mal sa buhay. Makita nila, Lord God, ang uh, kagalakan na uh, matatanggap lamin, lang namin hindi sa pamamagitan ng mga bagay na pwedeng ibigay ng mundo na ito, kundi kagalakan na nang galing Lord mismo sa iyo. Salamat Lord at uh, patuloy mong i-bless ang bawat isa kung meron man ang spoken request. Dalain ko God na ikaw Lord ang magturo tulad ng uh, pananampalataya ng uh, isang alagad na nagsabi, just speak Lord. And uh, right now, we, j- we just speak the word and you said Lord, you, were un- you will honor it. Kaya salamat Lord at uh, patuloy mong uh, Uh, gabayan, ingatan ang bawat isa sa kanilang pag-uwi sa kanilang mga tahanan, alisin ang mga hadlang at uh, sila ay makauwi ng uh, payapa. I-bless mo din ang mga kamay na patuloy mong ginagamit upang suportahan, Lord, ang munting ministeryo sa dako na ito at ibalik, Lord, ang mga pagpapala sa kanila ng higit pa kaysa mga bagay na kanilang ipinagkaloob. Maraming salamat. We give you back all the glory. Thanksgiving. Honor and praises, Lord, in your mighty name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless po sa bawat isa mga kapatid. See you again on Wednesday.